Now in Good Morning Northwest, trapped thousands of feet beneath the surface and running out of oxygen. Time is short for the five people in the missing Titanic submersible. How rescue crews are using the precious hours they have left. We have a return to the summer season. Sunny, warmer temperatures that are going to take us all the way through the weekend. We'll tell you just how warm coming up. And controversy still swirling over the new superintendent of the West Bonner School District. What happened last night when the community came face to face with the district's new leader. You're watching Good Morning Northwest here on 4 News Now. Good morning and thanks for waking up with us. I'm Derek Dice. Robin Nance will be back next week. It is Thursday, June 22nd. Mark Peterson here with that first alert forecast and we're saying goodbye to the 60s. Goodbye to the 60s. Hello 70s, but we're in the 40s to start our day. So 49 into Spokane, 47 into Coeur d'Alene. Again, everybody's got sunshine. You can see the, the long shadows. Really a nice start to the day. The four things you need to know. Going to be sunny and warmer today. Really going to be nice. But again, a little cool start. Winds going to be light. 80s for Hoop Fest, also for Iron Man. And it is going to be dry all the way through Monday, potentially into Tuesday. We'll have more on that coming up. Temperatures this morning waking up uh, 43 into 9 mile. Cheney are at 42. Those are some of the cooler spots. Otherwise, we're in the mid to upper 40s all over the place. Coeur d'Alene at 45. We look at the live satellite and radar. A few scattered showers still out of some of the cloud cover, but that's it. Uh, we are going to see our temperatures under a sunny condition with a few high thin clouds warming up by noon we're going to be at 70 degrees so warmer than yesterday and then we're going to be 10 degrees warmer than yesterday when it's all said and done with a high of 76 today well this morning the increasingly urgent rescue mission to find that missing submersible in the north atlantic ocean with five people on board experts say right now the crew is running out of oxygen sydney charles is live at the breaking now desk bringing us the latest details in this story that's right derek experts say that the crew will run out of oxygen sometime this morning it's a critical time for rescuers to find the five people on board the submersible called titan behind me is a live look at st john's harbor which is in newfoundland canada the Titan went missing while on a tour of the wreckage of the Titanic off the coast of Canada. The Coast Guard said the 21-foot submersible went underwater Sunday morning and lost contact about an hour and 45 minutes later. The U.S. Coast Guard had tried pinpointing repetitive banging sounds picked up on sonar equipment but came up empty-handed. Navy experts are now analyzing those sounds. You have hope, right? But, but I, don't, I can't tell you what the noises are. This comes amid a growing international rescue effort as more ships and aerial crafts rush to the area where, where the sub vanished, covering an area twice the size of Connecticut. The French coming equipped with deep sea robots that are able to free the sub if it were stuck, though it wouldn't be able to lift it to the surface. On board, Stockton Rush, the founder of Everett-based company Ocean Gate, as well as British billionaire and adventurist, a Pakistani businessman and his son, and a world-renowned Titanic researcher. Veteran explorers say the crew's conditions are dire if they're on the ocean floor where temperatures are below freezing there. Reporting in studio, Sydney Charles, 4 News Now. All right, Sydney, thanks for the update. The West Bonner School Board announced it is hiring a superintendent by Monday. Last week, in a meeting that lasted just minutes, the school board announced it was going to stick with this decision to hire Brandon Durst over interim super superintendent Susie Lucky. Durst was at the meeting speaking with parents last night. He is a controversial political figure who ran for Idaho State Superintendent, is a former Idaho State Representative and Senator, and also works for the Idaho Freedom Foundation. When asked by the crowd if he was deterred by the backlash, he responded that he liked a challenge. Many people in the crowd feel frustrated by the board's decision. The district is already strapped for cash due to its levy failing. So again, is this 105 or whatever amount of money just going to go to him and not pay for schools for the sports for my children, our children of this community? West Bonner School Board Chair Keith Rutledge says they'll be negotiating Durst's contract on Friday and meeting publicly on Monday to approve it. The school board was going to discuss the budget last night, but decided to table that for another meeting. We will continue to keep you updated on this story as it develops. For the latest information and for all previous coverage, you can head over to our website. That's KXOY.com.
The man accused of killing two people and injuring two others in the shooting at the Gorge Amphitheater campground over the weekend made his first court appearance. James Kelly is facing two counts of first degree murder, two counts of first degree assault, and one count of first degree domestic assault. According to court documents, Kelly went to the Beyond Wonderland Music Festival with his girlfriend and was high on mushrooms. He said he was hallucinating and thought the world was coming to an end. The couple ran back to his truck that was parked in the campground. Kelly then pulled pulled out a gun and started shooting, killing Brandy Escamilla and Jocelyn Ruiz while they were walking in the area. He then injured three other people, including his girlfriend, but not before she called 911. The Grand County Sheriff said that 911 call played a big role in their response time and their ability to eventually shoot Kelly and apprehend him. It was a short phone call, but at least it was able to get us information that we need of what was actually act actively happening in the area of that campground. No bail was set and Kelly will remain in custody. The judge also presented no contact orders between Kelly and all three of the surviving victims, including his girlfriend. Kelly will be back in court on July 5th. The start to summer usually means the start to higher utility bills as costs rise with the temperature. According to the U.S. Energy Information Administration, average electricity prices are expected to rise about 2% from last year. While the latest consumer price index showed energy costs declined 3.6% in May, prices are still too high for many. It's going to be a long summer. Now it's a matter of, will I have enough money for rent? I think of the people who are going to have to make choices between paying their electricity bill, paying for food, paying for medicine or health care. And some tips to keep your utility bills down include using your dishwasher instead of hand washing, raising the thermostat and using a fan, switching to more efficient LED light bulbs, washing your laundry on cold and checking your air ducts for holes or clogs. More Americans are saving for retirement by investing in 401k plans. Investment management company Vanguard says participation in the plan has reached an all-time high because more employers are automatically enrolling workers into the plan. Participation is expected to go up again this year when a new law requiring employers to enroll all eligible workers goes into effect. Well, one of Spokane's favorite sons, Craig T. Nelson, was back in town earlier this week. The actor, whose career has spanned more than 50 years, threw out the first pitch for the Spokane Indians on Father's Day. And as you can see here, managed to get it over the plate for a strike. Nelson was able to visit friends and family during his trip home and even made time to sit down with me for an interview. The man best known for roles like Hayden Fox in Coach or Mr. Incredibles in the Incredibles movies calls it stunning to see his work affect people people of all different ages. You don't realize the effect that you have on people and how if you've made them laugh or if you've touched them in some way that's meaningful, uh, that's what you're really trying to do. Hear how the Lewis and Clark High School grad has never forgotten his Spokane roots in my full story tonight on a special edition of 4 News Now at 4 o'clock. Really fun to talk to a guy like that who's experienced so much in Hollywood coming from Spokane South Hill, Wilson Elementary, Lewis and Clark High School, class of 1962. I golfed with him 15 years ago. <laughs> I've aged. He does not look like he's aged that much, but uh, a very nice guy. Yeah. All right, so nice weather, beautiful weather, uh, warming up quickly as we take a look at the morning drive, 52 at 7, but we're going to be 10 degrees warmer in just a couple hours. We're going to see that warm up all day today. Your forecast is coming up. And we're live this morning checking out a new indoor climbing gym in Post Falls Core Climbing. A deafening explosion and a giant fireball in France. How many were injured and what could have caused it next on Good Morning Northwest? Stream 4 News now on your TV for free with the KXLY Plus app. Alabama Roll On North America Tour presented by Kenworth. Song of the South. July 6th, Spokane Arena, with very special guest, the Marshall Tucker Band, Alabama, live, all your favorite songs from the greatest country band of all time, on sale now at ticketswest.com, produced by Outback Presents. Psst, it's my favorite time of year, Lazy Boy's having a sale again. 
Wow, I'm getting good at this. The 4th of July sale. Save 30% off everything. Lazy Boy. Live life comfortably. I was scared the night you overdosed. But I was prepared. I brought naloxone with me. I learned when to use it. I learned how to use it. And I know you trusted me to use it. I held your hand tight when you woke up because I wanted you to feel safe. Your life is worth saving, friend, and I would save it again if I had to. If you've been thinking about remodeling your kitchen or upgrading a bathroom with a fun new look, right now is the perfect time to call Northwest Granite & Cabinets. Northwest Granite & Cabinets is the premier shop for the best selection of unique granite, marble, and quartz countertop options and can customize any unique look you need with a variety of options for any room in your home. So, if you're looking to give your home a fresh new look this year, call Northwest Granite, the one-stop shop that does it all. Have you been dreaming of upgrading your truck with exterior styling or custom accessories? Or tricking out your interior with leather kits and heated seats? Well, wake up because Parker Extreme can help make your dream rig a reality. Stop in and get advice from our skilled Parker Extreme team. They have the knowledge and experience to help you make the right choice for your car, truck, or SUV. Your dream truck is here at Parker Toyota Extreme. You just haven't built it yet. me, Margaret. This book has been so popular. Why now? Hey, they're going to do this after I die, so I might as well enjoy it. <laughs> Watch Kelly today at a special time. Save your green! Let's take a look at what's new on Good Morning Northwest. Dozens of people were injured in France when police say a large fire broke out following a gas explosion. The blast ripped through a street near Paris's historic Latin Quarter yesterday, injuring at least 37 people, four of them critically. One person is still missing this morning. Witnesses described a deafening explosion and a giant fireball that rose several stories high. Multiple buildings collapsed. Authorities say it is still too early to say how that explosion happened. Amazon is facing a new lawsuit accused of tricking millions of customers into signing up for and keeping a more expensive Prime subscription. The FTC says Amazon tricked users into agreeing to the $14.99 a month membership as they made a purchase and then made cancellation intentionally complicated. Amazon says the FTC's claims are false on the facts and the law, adding, we make it clear and simple for customers to cancel their Prime membership. 12 minutes past 6 o'clock, trying to keep you on time on this Thursday. Your 10-second takeaway, it's cool to then warmer than yesterday today. It's going to be great. Light jacket heading out, but you won't need it long. You'll need the shades. Make sure to drink your water. High today, 76. More Washingtonians are concerned about high gas prices. According to AAA, Washington has now surpassed California for the highest gas prices in the nation, with an average of $4.95 as of today. Driving to work every day in Spokane, Stacy Drury has definitely noticed the higher gas prices at the pump. As food prices are also on the rise, she says it's worth coming to state line to fill up her tank in Idaho, where the prices are nearly a dollar less per gallon than in Washington worth it to come out here. It's, it took me 10 minutes to get here and I'm getting almost free gas. Yes. That's why that Maverick in Post Falls right off the freeway is always so busy. The head of petroleum analysis at Gas Buddy, Patrick DeHaan, says the implementation of Washington's new law to cap carbon emissions could be one of the factors. Starting the first of the year, the new law took effect to curb climate change that could cost refineries more to emit greenhouse gas emissions. Experts say rising gas prices in Washington may last for the next couple of weeks. But that means you'll still have some pain at the pump for a little while longer. Good morning, Northwest time is now 614. Hoop Fest brackets are now live. How you can see where and when your teams are playing and when you can start checking in your team today. And we're heating up as we head towards Hoop Fest weekend. Mark will have your full first alert forecast in just a few minutes, so stay tuned.
Oh. Oh, so, dude, I did the most shocking thing today. It was just something I never thought I'd do. Did your parents find out? My mom cried. What'd you do? Home. It's both a place and a feeling. At yours, you strive to make new memories, create traditions, share stories, find the fun, embrace the surprises, and celebrate moments big and small. Memories are made at home, in every room, in every moment. Make your house feel like home at the Tin Roof. What's in a name? A question that has never had more relevance. First American Title has been rebranded to Flying S, Title and Escrow. Since 1905, we've been helping people protect their property rights. When the time comes to choose a title insurance and escrow company, the choice is clear. Flying S, Title and Escrow. Idaho's longest operating, family-owned Title and Escrow company is now Flying S, Title and Escrow. We're not new, but our name is. My parents started their first dealership in Coeur d'Alene in 1983. They took pride in being locally owned and work hard to help this great community we call home. Now, three generations later, we're still proud to be one of the last locally owned Subaru dealerships. And we're working harder than ever to give back to the community that has supported us all these years. Because we're looking forward to being your local family Subaru dealer for generations to come. Today, Grady turns one. Already he plans to wrestle alligators, try his hand at the culinary arts, and explore the world. With Dream Ahead College Investment Plan, you can start saving for their future anywhere in the country. Don't borrow your children's future, build it at 529.wa.gov. New name means new fun. Tuila Casino is now Mr. Qua Casino Hotel. Sign up for breaking news alerts with the 4 News Now app. Well, if you want to learn the ropes of rock climbing, a new indoor gym is now open in Post Falls. At Core Climbing, you can learn and improve your skills or bring the whole family and climb for fun. Destiny Richards is live at Core Climbing to show us that brand new facility. And we showed you climbing just a little bit ago. Yeah, I've been doing a little bit of climbing this morning. We've been talking to Andrew Almond, who is the general manager. For those just waking up with us, tell us about the different indoor climbing options you have here, so many. Yes, so we have bouldering, but as you can see here on this wall, this is where our rope climbing will be. We have lead climbing, and we also have auto belay. The auto belay is something that you can use with if you don't have a partner, and the auto belay will catch you if you take a fall, and it'll lower you safely back to the ground. All right, great. And this is a full service climbing facility and you also have a gym facility here as well. Just workout equipment, yes. stairs and a kids play area. Yes, we have a fully functional gym. We have cardio equipment, squat rack, free weights, Olympic bars. And we also have a yoga room where we have yoga classes as well. All right, awesome. For people who are interested in signing up, they can just pay to be here for the day or they can get memberships as well, right? Yes, we have a day pass. They can get a weekly membership or they can get a monthly membership. All right, nice. And this morning we've been getting a little intro to the climbing. Lots of different rules to follow when you're here. The biggest rule is gravity works, so that's something important to keep in mind. I definitely felt that when I was doing the fall practice, but we'll do a little more demonstration of climbing coming up later this hour. Yeah. Stay tuned for that. I'll see you back here. All right, we'll also try to work on Destiny's microphone there. In the meantime, you're taking a live look over the Spokane uh, Veterans Memorial Arena. You see the Spokane County Courthouse in the background there as well. Uh, very different looking sky than yesterday when we saw a lot more cloud cover. Now it is pretty much blue skies abound. In fact, I'm, I'm going to sort of oh, re. I'm well, gonna, there you go. I'm going to relive yesterday a there little bit. There are those clouds. We had the system that was exiting. That's where we got the winds and the rain showers that we saw yesterday midday, as forecasted, actually fell. <clears throat> so we look at uh, what we had yesterday. 
and you can see where we have the clouds. All of this was moving out, and then it started clearing out in the afternoon. Absolutely gorgeous, and then for today, it's going to be better. Uh, satellite and radar, yeah, a few high thin clouds to the west. They're going to move across us. That's going to be about it. Uh, we are expecting temperatures right now to be on the cool side, but warming quickly. Cheney's still at 42, but Deer Park's warmed up to 48. We've got 50 downtown. We look at the forecast today. We're going to be at 76 degrees today, which is about average. Our 30 year average is 75 degrees for this time of year. We were 10 degrees below average yesterday. 49 will be the overnight low. So 52 is that normal low so that's close clear cool going to be beautiful the 72 hour forecast so let's put Spokane Coeur d'Alene right in the center of your screen and well everything is wrapping around us nothing coming over the top of us so we're going to remain dry sunny fairly warm um, Friday we're going to see this uh, chance as this low makes its way through that's going to be really on the Idaho Montana border for the most part and mountains and then things look pretty good for us. 76 will be our high today. 78 in Ritzville, Colville 74. If you're heading down to the Tri-Cities, hot 85. We're going to have temperatures in the mid-70s. Kellogg, Coeur d'Alene, Sandpoint, Bonners Ferry. That planning forecast, we're going to plan on the heat to move in. 81 Friday, Saturday, Sunday again. Um, thousands of people not only participating, but watching uh, all of the events between Iron Man and Hoop Fest, so we want you to uh, be aware. Sunscreen, hydrate, and be ready for the heat. You bet, Mark. Thank you. Good morning, Northwest. Time is 621. The Mariners struggle again in the Bronx. We'll show you what happened in Game 2 against the Yankees. And the NBA draft is tonight. WCU's Muhammad Gay is expected to hear his name called. What Kyle Smith says about his chances and teammate Justin Powell's next in sports. Download the 4 News Now app today. Living in the Inland Northwest has its advantages, and one of those is working with amazing people who dedicate their time and efforts to help others. STCU's Volunteers Count is a program to say thank you for this service and inspire others to give back too. Please tell us about a volunteer at a local nonprofit that inspires you. Go to kxly.com slash volunteers count and nominate them. Help us showcase those people who give of their time and truly make a difference. Volunteers Count brought to you by 4 News Now and STCU. At Colville Toyota, the pups are always sniffing out a deal that works best for you. Plus, our entire team is customer focused. If you want a hassle-free, simple, easy, enjoyable, and quick customer service, take a scenic drive to Colville Toyota. We're customer-centered and here to help you with the new Toyota car, SUV, truck, and our mix of certified and used vehicles. Colville Toyota, where it's easy to buy, easy to do business with. We're your small-town dealership with the big heart. Sometimes you're so busy taking care of everyone else, you don't do enough for yourself or your mouth. But eventually it will remind you. When it does, Aspen Dental is here for you. We offer the custom dental treatments you need all under one roof right nearby so we can bring more life to your smile and more smile to your life affordably. New patients without insurance can get a free complete exam and x-rays and 20% off treatment plans. Aspen Dental, anything to make you smile. Schedule your appointment today. At Mainstream, our mission is to keep your family comfortable all year long. Whether that's a simple repair or a new furnace or AC system, we'll be there, ready to serve you when you need us most. Electrical, heating, cooling, and plumbing. Choose smart. Call the company with heart. Mainstream. Save now with Bymart's latest membership savings book, arriving exclusively in members' mailboxes this week. Our 16-page book has store-wide savings in every department. Keep cool this summer. We have your pool and patio needs covered. Plus, find great savings on camping gear, pet essentials, and everything you need for the perfect barbecue. Save now with our latest savings book at Bymart, your Northwest employee-owned membership store. Summer storms, sudden, intense, dangerous. 4 News Now First Alert Weather warns you in advance. Up to quarter size hail. Keeping you informed until the threat is passed and your family is safe. On the air, on the app, only on 4 News Now. You know, I actually spoke to the Denver Nuggets and literally four days after they won the championship, and, then, and I thought they were calling about Mo, and they'd already had a conversation about Mo, but he was talking specifically about Justin. 
You know, when the NBA champion Denver Nuggets want you on their team, it's probably a good sign. Welcome into sports. I'm Julian Minnesota. The NBA draft is tonight. Washington State's Muhammad Gay and Justin Powell are gaining a lot of attention from different teams around the league, including the Denver Nuggets. Gay is a six foot 11 center who made the all pack 12 first team and was the Cougars team captain this past season. Powell was one of the best shooters on the team at 42% from three point range. Gay has been projected as a second round draft pick. Powell is not on many mock draft boards, but is a great candidate for an undrafted free agent contract. Washington State head coach Kyle Smith says both players have the potential for long NBA careers. I think Mo, um, so I think he's got a chance to be um, as obviously has a little bigger ceiling. He's just such a tremendous athlete as he gets stronger and more experienced. I think he could be a really good two-way player in the NBA, potential starter down the road. And then Justin is just, he's a specialist in his decision-making and his ability to shoot and size. And he does. He's six six guy that can bang threes, good, easy to play with. So, um, and he's a guy that had a lot of the NBA attention uh, when he's earlier or he's younger. The NBA draft is set for 5 o'clock tonight, and you can watch it right here on KXLY following a special edition of 4 News Now. The Seattle Mariners dropped the second game in a row to the New York Yankees by a score of 4-2. to two. And for the second straight night, the Seattle Bats couldn't get anything going, and it wasn't much better on the mound. Luis Castillo, their ace, gave up a pair of home runs and only lasted five innings on the mound for the Mariners. The final game of the three-game series is at 4.05 p.m. tonight. And that'll wrap us up for Morning Sports. All right, fingers crossed for all our local players in the NBA draft tonight. Good morning, Northwest Time is 626. Before we take another break, here's your first look at what's coming up on Good Morning America starting at 7. Stream 4 News Now on your TV for free with the KXLY Plus app. Is it your day to water? Know if you are odd or even and be water wise this summer. Sorry about that car accident. Got that insurance claim check for you. I gotta call Swap. Ah! I gotta call Swap. Here you go. Ah, that's it. I'm calling him. You forgot your check. Craig Swap and Associates is on your side. We'll make sure you get the help you deserve, and we only get paid after you win. One call, that's all. 509-999-9999. I'm Mark Peterson, the extreme team at Horizon Credit Union, ready to take on the next task. If you know of a project that needs an extreme team makeover, go to KXOI.com to nominate it. Four News Now Extreme Team brought to you by Horizon Credit Union. Don't let summer pass you by. Sale pricing is back at r, &R RV. Yes, RVs are now priced below retail at r, &R RV. Springdale, Cougar, Montana, Rockwood, and more. Don't wait weeks for other dealers. Every RV at r, &R RV is prepped and ready for immediate delivery. Sale pricing is back at r, &R RV. Shop now for the best selection and the lowest interest rates. r, &R RV in Liberty Lake, North Spokane, and Lewiston. Or online at r, &R -RV .com. Your Broadway wishes granted at Disney's Aladdin. Audiences and critics agree it's exactly what you wish for. Don't miss Aladdin, the hit Broadway musical. June 27th through July 2nd at First Interstate Center for the Arts. Visit BroadwaySpokane.com. In this morning's GMA First Look, get ready for a summer sales battle royale. There's definitely going to be a mad rush when it comes to certain items from retailers. All of these retailers that are going to be having some kind of sale around Prime Day. Amazon, Best Buy, and Target all announcing big deal days in July. From electronics to patio furniture, kids' clothing to makeup. We'll see some really notable offers, especially if they're trying to match Amazon's competitive deals. For those households that may be looking to pick up really great deals on necessities, you may see those mixed in with, you know, the good prices on laptops and pieces of furniture and other things like that. And coming up at 7 a.m., we're going to help you strategize what items will score you the biggest deals and how can you make the competition between all these retailers work for you. With your GMA First Look, I'm Becky Worley, ABC News, Oakland, California. There it is. That feeling you 
get when you can do more with less asthma? It starts with Dupixent. Dupixent is not for sudden breathing problems. It's an add-on treatment for specific types of moderate to severe asthma and can help improve lung function for better breathing in as little as two weeks. Dupixent helps prevent asthma attacks and can even reduce or eliminate oral steroids. Can you picture it? Dupixent can cause allergic reactions that can be severe. Get help right away if you have rash, chest pain, worsening shortness of breath, tingling, or numbness in your limbs. Tell your doctor about new or worsening joint aches and pain or a parasitic infection. Don't change or stop asthma medicines, including steroids, without talking to your doctor. Who knows what you can do when you do more with less asthma? Ask your asthma specialist about Dupixent. From 4 News Now, this is Good Morning Northwest. 4 News Now Story Tracker, following the stories you are reading about online this morning. Hoop Fest isn't the only big event this weekend. Coeur d'Alene, of course, preparing for the 20th year of Iron Man this Sunday. The City Council just agreed in a contract to have the race for at least another three years. On Sunday, athletes from all over the world will swim, bike, and run through Coeur d'Alene. The event is expected to draw 10,000 people between both athletes and spectators. And NASA is showing us exactly how much our sea levels are rising this animation shows the levels between 1993 and last year. Over those three decades, the sea level has risen about three and a half inches. While that might not seem like a lot, think of the animation as a visual metaphor here. NASA says it's designed to look like look like a submerged portal of the boat as you watch water lap outside the window. All right, good morning, Northwest. I'm Derek Dice. Robin Nance is off. It is Thursday, June the 22nd. Mark Peterson is here with a look at that first alert forecast. And all right, we're getting in the 70s and pushing for 80s. Yeah, we're going to get to the 80s soon enough, but 70s will be our goal today. We got blue sky, a few high thin clouds, got a little bit more cloud cover to the west. We're sitting at 49 degrees. So again, on a cool side, but it's going to warm up nicely today. Here's a look at the four things you need to know. It's going to be sunny and warmer than yesterday by about 10 degrees. Winds are going to be light today. That's going to be great. Uh, Hoop Fest and Iron Man. Daytime highs are going to be into the low 80s. And we are expecting to be dry all the way through Monday, potentially into Tuesday. Could see a bit of a change there. We'll talk about it. Live satellite and radar. We don't have a lot going on. We had a few brief showers that uh, were in just some of those clouds from overnight. They're now dissipated. Everything is dry and looking pretty good today. Uh, this weak ridge of high pressure is going to hang out. 76 for us, 78 Ritzville, 79 OMAC. Tri-Cities, the LC Valley, you're going to be into the mid-80s today. We're expecting sunshine. We're going to be into the mid-70s throughout much of the afternoon. We're going to be at 70 as we hit the noon hour. And again, 76 will be our high today. And from the Breaking Now desk, this morning we're taking a live look at the um, at the White House this morning. This is not the right image, but we are going to be talking about Congressman Adam Schiff. Lawmakers in D.C. voted along party lines to censor the congressman for his leading role in investigating former President Donald Trump several years ago. It's a rare move by House members. Schiff is only the 25th House member to ever be censured, only the third in the last 20 years. Schiff's Democratic colleagues repeatedly interrupted House Speaker Kevin McCarthy as he read the rules surrounding the censure, which amounts to a public reprimand. Let's go ahead and take a listen to those reactions from other House members. House will be in order. Schiff served on the House committee investigating the January 6th attack at the Capitol. He was also the top Democrat on the House Intelligence Committee investigating whether the 2016 Trump campaign had any ties to Russia. That investigation found Russia did intervene in the election, but found no evidence of criminal conspiracy. Meanwhile, in a separate matter, Republican Congresswoman Lauren Boebert has now introduced articles of impeachment against President Joe Biden over his handling of the southern border. ABC News has learned that House Speaker Kevin McCarthy is urging Republicans to vote against this resolution, arguing that now is just not the right time. And back to Adam Schiff, the censure of the congressman also directs the Ethics Committee to investigate his actions during the investigations he took part in. Reporting in studio, Sydney Charles, 4 News Now.
All right, Sydney, thank you. The Supreme Court is meeting behind closed doors today to consider whether they should add a Second Amendment case next term, focusing on a federal law that bans people with domestic violence restraining orders from having guns. In this current case, the Fifth U.S. Circuit Court of Appeals decided the domestic violence related gun law is unconstitutional. Critics say the move will make it easier for alleged abusers to obtain firearms. Police are asking people to check their security cameras to help them find the people responsible for multiple reports of graffiti in one Coeur d'Alene neighborhood. You're looking at a couple photos here from the 11 reports of graffiti from over the weekend. Police say nearly 20 items were damaged from the paint, including street signs, mailboxes, and vehicles. Those who live near or live or work near Bluegrass Park, West Kathleen Avenue, and the Industrial Loop area west of Atlas Road in Coeur d'Alene are encouraged to contact their local police department. A concerning decline in blood donations could put stress on U.S. blood supplies. The American Red Cross worries the number of blood donations will only continue to go down. When blood donations are low, this can lead to blood shortages, which affect our ability to support cancer patients in their treatment. Um, it affects our ability to respond to medical emergencies and chronic blood conditions. If blood is not readily available, it can also lead to the postponement of elective surgeries and other care. While donors of all blood types are needed, the Red Cross, especially in need of type O, which is always in high demand. If you're interested in giving blood, you can schedule an appointment with the Red Cross. And even if you're traveling this summer, you can type in your zip code and find a blood drive nearby. Well, HoopFest brackets are now live on the HoopFest app, and today you can get your team checked in for the tournament as well. There is a lot more you'll want to know before the tournament takes over downtown Spokane, including where your teams are located and, and where your team's courts are located, excuse me, and which events are taking place while you're downtown and where you can park. We have all that information and more. You can find it inside this story on KXLY. Com. And again, yeah, team check-in happening starting this afternoon. Good morning, Northwest time. Now 636. We're going to send things over to Mark Peterson. And hey, this is we're getting deeper into right June here and having good air quality is a good sign. We had some poor air quality last week due to the Canadian fires. That smoke continues to head north and east out of our area. That's going to be good news for the weekend for those participating. We're not going to have as many yeah, lung yeah. issues there. Just for like me being out of shape, period. <laughs> uh, so we have good air quality starting off our day. We've got a sunny morning and we've got cool temperatures, but not cold. We're sitting at 49 degrees. We'll talk about that forecast coming up. For news now on your time with Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Some ideas seem good, but aren't. These guys will buy our house without even seeing it. Online buyers use algorithms to treat every seller the same. We work with you personally. We Buy Ugly Houses customizes every purchase to every seller's needs. Call or click to sell quick. Here's the latest expansion news from Spokane Tribe Casino. Check out the expanded Caesar Sportsbook, now the largest in the area. With even more room, more betting options than before, and a buddy bar with bar top games. Plus, be on the lookout for the all-new smoke-free gaming area, also coming soon. Cool off with a win. You've got a chance to take home a cooler filled with up to $5,000. Only at Spokane Tribe Casino. You just win here. Lazy Boy Furniture Galleries has chairs and recliners to fit every need, including naps. It's the 4th of July sale. For a limited time, save 30% store-wide and get 36 months special financing. Lazy Boy Furniture Galleries. Live life comfortably. Want to get away? This month, when you purchase a new vehicle from Dishman Dodge Ram Chrysler Jeep, you'll receive free airfare to wherever you'd like to go. It's the great summer getaway at Dishman. Plus, we're loaded with some of the best used inventory we've had in years. When you purchase a new vehicle from Dishman, you'll receive free airfare to a destination of your choice. It's the perfect time to get into a new Dodge, Ram, Chrysler, or Jeep during the great summer getaway at Dishman. Adventure awaits at Silver Mountain Resort this summer. Play two days in Idaho's largest indoor water park and enjoy one night in a beautiful condo. Ride America's longest gondola for breathtaking scenic views or cruise the Northwest's number one bike park. Create new family memories around the fire, an outdoor movie, or an evening stroll through the village. Just 30 minutes east of Coeur d'Alene on I-90, your adventure awaits at Silver Mountain. Book today at silvermt.com. Hello, I'm Lloyd Herman. 
If you need legal assistance due to an accident or an injury, put my 40 years of experience of dealing with the insurance companies to work for you. You'll have an appointment to speak to me within 48 hours. Lloyd Herman and Associates, 922-6600. Some ideas seem good, but aren't. These guys will buy our house without even seeing it. Online buyers use algorithms to treat every seller the same. We work with you personally. We Buy Ugly Houses customizes every purchase to every seller's needs. Call or click to sell quick. Welcome back. The U.S. Department of Agriculture has cleared lab-grown meat to be produced and sold in the United States. The cell-based proteins are grown in a giant vat, kind of like you'd see at a brewery. Supporters hope it will help fight climate change by reducing the need for traditional animal agriculture, which emits greenhouse gases. ABC's Andrew Dimbert has the details. This morning, the USDA, for the first time, has approved lab-grown meat to be sold to the public. So that's where it all starts, just a few cells. Two cultivated meat producers now getting the green light to begin commercially selling their chicken products. Lab-grown meat is created using cells from living animals, such as fertilized eggs, which is then incubated and grown into large masses of meat in these stainless steel bioreactors. ABC's Devin Dwyer recently got a tour of California-based Upside Foods, where meat is cultivated. You're making chicken in there. Yes. Yeah, so so if you look at this, this is a approximately a 200 plus liter tank. And we take cells from a chicken or an egg. It takes two weeks to grow the equivalent of one chicken, a thousand chickens or a hundred thousand chickens. So you're saying in this factory, you can make more meat faster and cleaner than an average farmer? Well, ultimately, yes. The company says lab-grown meat could be instrumental in helping feed the world's growing population as meat demand rises, while using a fraction of the land and water of animal farming, helping to reduce greenhouse gas emissions. Critics argue it's no silver bullet, with the potential for major socioeconomic implications and questions about how the meat is labeled. Many experts say more study is needed. More research and just caution. I, I think that a lot of companies are going to use or present the best case scenarios. As for how the lab grown chicken tastes. All right, my first bite of cultivated meat. It's chicken. Andrew Dimbert, ABC News, New York. I think I'm still going to need to be sold on this. There is no plan to send this lab-grown meat to stores just yet as production costs remain very high. So right now, plans call for only limited partnerships with restaurants. Okay. Good morning, everybody. <laughs> Your 10-second takeaway. It's cool to warm today. Things are looking pretty good. Uh, light jacket shades. Make sure you're hydrating. Getting ready for the weekend. Pre-hydration. Our high today, 76. Mark and I both clearly carnivores, so that's why we're a little skeptical. A giant seaweed blob piling up on the Florida coast could be carrying illness-inducing bacteria. Sargassum can serve as a marine habitat while adrift at sea, but as it reaches shore, it picks up everything in its past, including plastic and debris. Researchers say that, combined with the Florida sun, can create the perfect environment for Vibrio bacteria to cultivate, which can cause flesh-eating infections. Scientists haven't found any yet, but experts advise people to stay away from clumps of sargassum and not to swim in waters that appear healthy. The bacteria can enter through minor wounds like cuts, scrapes, or scratches, and while infections are rare, they can be severe. So just do your best to stay away. Good morning, Northwest. Time is now 643. Destiny Richards is live in Post Falls at Core Climbing today. That's right, core climbing is a great place to have fun or get a workout in. Coming up, we're gonna do some climbing and talk about the fun programs that are coming up here too. Download the 4 News Now app today. It's a good day for a drive, great day for a deal. Right now, Cooper Tire is offering up to $75 off four qualifying Cooper Tires. Plus, Perfection Tire will match that rebate for up to $150 off. Nobody beats perfection. Talk about fireworks. Check out these offers during the 4th of July sale at Denver Mattress. Right now, the more you buy, the more you save. Save 100 bucks on every 1000 you spend. Save up to $300 on our Denver Mattress brand lineup, like the Factory Direct Summit, now only $299.99. Purchase a Tempur-Pedic and score a $300 gift, plus five years no interest and free shipping. It's the 4th of July sale, on now at Denver Mattress. 
So much of life happens at home, which is why your home should be a place of inspiration designed around great floors you love. Spending time at home on great floors is something to celebrate. Great Floors is offering discounts on select top quality Mohawk products. Save 10% on Revwood Flooring. Revwood Flooring by Mohawk offers stress-free style so you can live life on floors you love. Plus, ask about your 12-month 0% in-house financing. Visit a Great Floors showroom for details and live life on great floors. Hondas are piggy banks on wheels. Stylish, athletic piggy banks that save you money at every glorious turn. Legendary fuel efficiency, famous for its resale value, and now with great deals including two years complimentary maintenance, it's your chance to get into America's best value brand. So start saving money and drive happy as a pig in your Inland Northwest Honda dealer today. Honda can handle it. Let's wave the flag together. Hello, I'm Mark Peterson with 4 News Now, presenting the Great American Flag Swap. Bring your old tattered flag to any BECU Spokane location on Friday, June 23rd. In exchange, you'll receive a new American-made flag from Uncle Sam's Flag and Gift. BECU is proud to be part of the Great American Flag Swap. We're honored to live in a community that supports veterans and military families who sacrifice for the benefit of us all. Visit us in Spokane and see what banking is like when people come first. BECU, not for profit, equals more for people. It's a good day for a drive. Great day for a deal. Right now, Cooper Tire is offering up to $75 off for qualifying Cooper Tires. Plus, Perfection Tire will match that rebate for up to $150 off. Nobody beats Perfection. 4 News Now is brought to you by Mystiqua Hotel and Casino in Chewila. Welcome back. Cork Climbing is a new indoor rock climbing gym in Post Falls. You can sign up for a membership or pay for a day pass to climb. You can even take classes, get your kids registered for camps, and host climbing parties. Destiny Richards is live at Cork Climbing with a look at that climbing experience. And there she is up the wall. <laughs> yes, I'm trying to climb up all these yellow footholds and handholds here. Typically when you climb, you grab the same color and then you try to make it up there and ding, ding, ding. I'm gonna count this as my top. I'm not gonna put my foot up there. And then you make it back down and I was told that you don't have to be on the same colors when you're coming back down because you just wanna safely make it down. And then I'm gonna do the jump and fall here. Are we ready? Jump and fall. Woo! Excellent. Okay, we did. Nice work, Destiny. That was <laughs> thank great. Thank you, thank you. We have Andrew Amund who's been helping me out this morning. You guys have really fun programs coming up. Yes. Grand opening um, happening on uh, July 9th, and then yes. July 10th is a summer camp as well. Yes, on July 10th, our summer camps begin, and they're a week long. They go from Monday through Friday. Um, so when you're booking in through our app or our website, um, you'll pick out which week you want to start at, and those will be from Monday through Friday. There'll be fun games, snack provided, and the kids will get educated on different climbing techniques as well. Yeah, yeah, really so much. We couldn't show it all this morning, but if you go upstairs, there's a climbing wall just for kids. Some of the footholds are in the shape of pizza and alligators and just really fun stuff here for the whole family. For more information about that summer camp, classes, even reserving parties here, you can go to our website, kxy.com. We have a link to the Core Climbing website. But for now, live at Core Climbing, Destiny Richards, 4 News Now. And I gotta say, Destiny looked like a bit of a natural on that climbing wall as she was doing her thing there. All right, you're now taking a look at the skies above Spokane here. A lot of blue in that sky, and that means temperatures are gonna start rising. We're gonna see temperatures start coming up to today average, above average for the weekend. Of course, everyone sort of sets up for, you know, the restaurants, everyone downtown setting oh, yeah. up for Hoop Fest, not just those who are participating. Your boys, uh, busy, right? You got of course, an 8 a.m. game Saturday? <laughs> Indeed. Okay, of course well, we got the of game. course you do. All right, we'll talk about temperatures uh, overnight coming up. Right now, the camping forecast. Blackwell Island is uh, what we're featuring today. We're sort of moving around Spokane, getting you outside. But this is relatively close, and it's going to be beautiful weather. We're going to have 81 on Saturday. Sunday's going to be 82. Very consistent around our region. And, uh, boy, you can just enjoy the amenities there. So, uh, again, one of the many campgrounds that you can check out throughout our region. Right now, 47 into the valley, 49 downtown. We've got 48 in Deer Park. Cheney's warmed up to 48 degrees. We look at our forecast. 76 today, 75 is that 30 year average for this time of year. And we've been below average for many, many days uh, as spring wrapped up. Now summer starts, we're back at it. 
Tonight, temperatures down to 49 degrees, going to be clear and cool. Satellite radar had a little bit of cloud cover, a little bit of energy, but that's all gone. Things are looking pretty good. Again, some high thin clouds today. Here's a look at the four day forecast. So we get through today. We're dry. 9 p.m. looking great for Friday into the afternoon. Maybe a little more cloud cover, but that's going to be it remaining dry. We get into Saturday morning, 9 a.m. should be clear. Uh, again, things are going to be cool, but not cold. And then we get into Sunday. We remain dry, and that takes us all the way through Hoop Fest weekend into Monday morning, where we, again, have a little bit of cloud cover, but that's it. 76 today, 82 in Moses Lake. OMAC here at 79 degrees with afternoon showers for you. For us, sunshine 76, low 80s, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Going to be a great weekend. And then mid 80s, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. Your morning sprint is coming up right around that imaginary corner. Stay with us. Stream 4 News Now on your TV for free with the KXLY Plus app. 4 News Now is brought to you by Fairway Floor. This may look like an action adventure movie, but it's a Nissan sales event ad. Get 0% financing for 36 months on select rogue trims. These epic offers won't last forever. The Summer Fun 5 at Mystiqua Casino Hotel. We have over 300 gaming machines and we were always adding new ones. Play your favorite games to earn your entries to win a share of $10,000 cash. And one lucky winner will get to choose this 2023 Can-Am Commander or $20,000 cash. Drawing start at 5 p.m. Saturday, June 24th at Mystiqua Casino Hotel. We are 100% non-smoking. Live table games seven days a week. Learn more at Mystiqua.com. Sorry about that car accident. Got that insurance claim check for you. I gotta call Swap. We'll make sure you get the help you deserve, and we only get paid after you win. One call, that's all. 509-999-9999. Spokane's hottest music. Break me for so done with you, girl. Hot 96.9. Whether it's readying your remodel, getting some getaway time, planning those perfect moments, turning your side hustle into a full-time gig, or consolidating your bills into one easy payment, you don't need to wait for someday to do the things you want to do. Achieve tomorrow's dreams today with a Momentum Home Equity line of credit. And when you get in motion now, you'll get a special introductory rate for the first six months. Get a jump on your dreams today. Horizon Credit, your path, our purpose. Okay, Ready. all right. <laughs> Got it? I got it. Oh, oh. <laughs> easy. Okay, go down and do it. Go that way. That way. That way. There you go. You should. Oh, yeah. You're going to need it for the boxes you still have here. <laughs> It may look like an action adventure movie, but it's a Nissan sales event ad. Get 0% financing for 36 months on select Rogue trims. These epic offers won't last forever. See breaking news in your area or have a story idea? Contact 4 News Now. This Good Morning Northwest Morning Sprint is brought to you by Bill's Heating and Air Conditioning. It's now 6.53, time to get you ready for your Thursday here in the morning sprint. A new indoor gym is now open in Post Falls. Destiny Richards is giving us a live look inside core climbing. Mark Peterson is telling us how much warmer temps will be in today's forecast. And Sydney Charles has details on the urgent rescue mission to find that missing submersible in the North Atlantic Ocean. But first, the West Bonner School Board announced it's hiring a superintendent by Monday. Last week in a meeting that lasted just minutes, the school board announced it was going to stick with its decision to hire that man, Brandon Durst, over interim superintendent Susie Lucky. He's a controversial political figure who ran for Idaho State Superintendent, is a former Idaho State Representative and Senator, and also works for the Idaho Freedom Foundation. West Bonner School Board Chair Keith Rutledge says they'll be negotiating Durst's contract on Friday and meeting publicly on Monday to approve it. We'll continue to keep you updated on this story as it develops on our website at kxly.com. And breaking 
breaking news now of a fatal crash in Whitman County. Washington State Patrol says the crash happened just after 8.30 last night on State Route 128 when a car went off the road just a mile north of Clarkston. A 19-year-old woman from Lewiston riding in the passenger seat was killed. 19-year-old Sage Jones, also of Lewiston, was critically injured. WSP says the road was blocked overnight until about 4 o'clock this morning. The name of that woman killed is being withheld until next of kin can be notified. And an urgent rescue mission is underway to find the missing submersible in the North Atlantic Ocean. Experts say that the crew will run out of oxygen sometime this morning. It's a critical time for rescuers to find the five people on board the submersible called Titan. The sub went missing while on a tour of the wreckage of the Titanic off the coast of Canada. The Coast Guard said that the 21-foot submersible went underwater Sunday morning and lost contact about an hour later. The U.S. Coast Guard had tried pinpointing repetitive banging sounds picked up on sonar equipment but came up empty-handed. The very latest on the growing international rescue effort is coming up next on Good Morning America. The man accused of killing two people and injuring two others in the shooting at the Gorge Amphitheater campground over the weekend made his first court appearance. James Kelly is facing two counts of first-degree murder, two counts of first-degree assault, and one count of first-degree domestic assault. According to court documents, Kelly went to the Beyond Wonderland Music Festival with his girlfriend and was high on mushrooms. He said he was hallucinating and thought the world was coming to an end. The couple went back to his truck that was camped, or excuse me, parked in the camping area. Area. Kelly pulled out a gun and started shooting, killing Brandy Escamilla and Jocelyn Ruiz while they were walking in the area. He then injured three other people, including his girlfriend. Kelly will be back in court on July 5th. Police are asking people to check their security cameras to help them find the people responsible for multiple reports of graffiti in one Coeur d'Alene neighborhood. You're looking at two photos from the 11 reports of graffiti over the weekend. Police say nearly 20 items were damaged from the paint, including street signs, mailboxes, and vehicles. Those who live or work near Bluegrass Park, West Kathleen Avenue, and the Industrial Loop area west of Atlas Road in Coeur d'Alene are encouraged to contact police. All right, temperatures this morning in our first alert weather are on the cool but not cold side. We've been much colder. 47 into Coeur d'Alene. We're sitting at 49 degrees. Things look pretty good. Satellite and radar dry. And things are going to stay that way not only today but again through tomorrow. Our highs there are going to be into the mid-70s. That is average for this time of year. And in fact, as we look at our day over the next 12 hours, we're going to have sunshine. Temperatures 2 o'clock, 74, 6 o'clock, 75, and 76 in between for our high today by 10 will drop to 60 with a clear sky. And we've been live this morning showing you court climbing. It's a new indoor climbing gym now open in Post Falls. They officially opened yesterday, but they have a grand opening celebration planned for July and a summer camp coming up as well. So many other opportunities, including classes you can take. You can even reserve parties here and bring your whole family and friends. You can go to our website, kxy.com, for more information about core climbing. More Washingtonians are concerned about high gas prices. According to AAA, Washington has surpassed California for the highest gas prices in the nation now, with an average of $4.95 a gallon as of today. Driving to work every day in Spokane, Stacey Drury has noticed those higher gas prices at the pump and says it's worth coming to state line to fill up her tank in Idaho, where those prices are nearly a dollar less per gallon than in Washington. If you want to find out what factors could be contributing to higher gas prices in the state, go to KXLY.com. Come. We'll take one last look at weather next. At 4 News Now, we believe you should expect more from local news. Our team is committed to a community conversation and bringing you information you need when and where you need it. Numerica believes in and supports that mission. If your checking account isn't earning you money, it's time to switch to bonus checking from Numerica. The account that earns an incredible 2% annual percentage yield, that could earn you up to $500 every year or more. Let's take a test drive of this rugged Nissan Frontier, redesigned inside and out. There's plenty of power so you can take it anywhere, thanks to an upgraded suspension, steering system, and powertrain. The cabin has improved too with a new seat design, larger storage compartments, and a big touchscreen that's smartphone compatible. If you weren't interested in a Nissan Frontier in the past, it's time to reevaluate. Test drive one at the new Coeur d'Alene Nissan.
Four News Now Firewatch coverage. That fire has grown exponentially. With resources on TV, online, and on the go with the Four News Now app. Firewatch coverage to keep you safe. That's what we mean when we say expect more on Four News Now. Good morning, everybody. A live look out over Spokane. That is a blue sky, a few high thin clouds. That's going to be our day today with plenty of sunshine and temperatures at average for the first time in about seven days. Uh, we're going to have temperatures into the mid 60s by 10. We're going to be into 76 for our high today. Things are looking pretty good. That's today. We build in towards the end of the week, 81 for Friday. And of course, who best weekend? We're going to be into the low 80s with overnight lows into the low 50s. So cool starts for the games. And of course, Iron Man on Sunday. It's all looking good. All right, just about right where you want it for this weekend. Mark, thanks so much. Thank you for being with us. Love we'll updates throughout Good Morning America. That starts right now.